Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. You're very welcome to our Mass, which I'm offering for the repose of the soul of Josephine Nene, who decided who died recently. I'd also like to pray for the following who are ill, uh, for Mike, AJ, Mary, Bruce, and Frank. We bring all of our intentions to the Lord, especially those who are sick at this time and those who are taking care of them. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and to give us strength, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain the strength to do what they have seen. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from my to the Hebrews. Since all the children share the same love and flesh, Jesus too shared in grief, in it, so that by his sake he could take away all the power of the devil, who had power over death, and set free all those who had been held in slavery all their lives by the fear of death. It was not the angels that he took to himself. He took to himself the sin from Abraham. It was essential that he should, in this way, become completely like his brothers, so that he could be a compassionate and trustworthy high priest of God's religion, able to atone for human sins. This is because he has himself been through temptation to be able to help others who are tempted. The word of the Lord. <laughs> the response to the psalm, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, tell his people, tell his name, make known his deeds among the people. O oh, sing to him, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. The Lord remembers his covenant Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. The Lord remembers his covenant O children of Israel, his servant, O son of Jacob, he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Hear, 
remembers his covenant forever. His promise for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham. The oath he swore to Isaac. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand, and helped her up. And the fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick, and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were suffering from diseases of one kind or another. He also cast out many devils, but he would not allow them to speak, because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house, and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him, and when they found him, they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere to the neighbouring country towns, so that I can preach there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus became human so that he could be trustworthy as a high priest, as the high priest, because he understands everything about human nature, all our struggles, all our temptations, as well as our joys and our And as he took Simon's mother-in-law by the hand and lifted her up and healed her, so we allow him now to take us by the hand, to take our lives this day and to lead us along the blessed way to those blessings that he has in store for us. So let's go with Jesus and allow our lives to be lifted up by him.
Mary knows best how to bring our petitions, our prayers to Jesus, so we give them to her, that she may pray for us now as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favour with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through through your most beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the clergy, the religious and all your people. Remember your beloved servant Josephine, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive us our sins, and to bring us to forgive those who have sinned against us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ.
they may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all. Have a lovely day.